calculate a 2% error. It's not good enough, Henry. I'll have to forget it and try again. Quote, it is only when we forget all our learning that we begin to know. That's the row, Henry. His journal of 1859. Excellent, Monica. Thank you. Okay, Henry, pressure's down. You can come out now. The laser pulse displayed an inaccuracy of 12 microjoules, Doctor. Well, that's perfectly adequate if you're building a sandcastle. Space habitats are not sandcastles. Such an error could cost many human lives. Unacceptable. A miracle. For once, we agree on something. Professor, can't you see I'm occupied? Oh, Dillard, your timing is, as usual, impeccably poor. Did you mind? Does the word privacy mean anything to you? Privacy, now. The state of being private. The figures in column four are incorrect. I calculate 0.954. I ran these figures myself. You're saying the mainframe is down again? I postulate another instance of human error. As if you knew what that meant. Human. Adjective. All. Pertaining to. or Characteristic of mankind. Error. Now. A deviation from accuracy or correctness. A mistake. That's enough of that. Delert. Monica, fetch a calibrated target. Hour approaches and the good doctor is still going strong. How's the map project coming along? The post is still going over the panchromatic and multispectral modes. Once I scan a bunch of dumb maps, I'd rather be working stress tests with you. I'm sorry to hear about your transfer, Quinn. Yeah, so am I. It's late, Monica. I have to go. Dr. Gadbury? Doctor? Somebody help me, please! Oh, Miss Stewart, lock yourself out again, huh? Doctor, please. Oh, I still remember the last Dr. time. Dr. Post, Dr. Gadbury's in oh, trouble. Man. Please help me. Well, I'm darned. Oh, Davis, take a look at this. I got a problem with the lock. Please hurry. Main control, this is Davis. We need emergency override and stress lab. Repeat, emergency. Stand by for override. Monica, Dr. Post, please come. Dr. Gadbury appears to be injured. Oh, my God! I want a deactivation team here now. Not an accident. Henry just killed Dr. Gadbury. Henry? Kill? No. No, Henry cannot kill. Monica? Tell them. Henry can... Just a minute. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ow! Let go of me. Will you let go? Coming. Of all the weeks for Tilly to visit her sister. I think I can, 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 I uh, Simon! Simon, we have a visitor! What? A visitor! Are you Simon McKay? I'm Simon McKay. Pleased to meet you. I'm Monica Stewart. Oh, Dr. Cadbury's assistant. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, thank you. I'm very flattered. Are things always like this? Well, today's mess, tomorrow's breakthrough. That's better. Now, how's things at Cybertech? How's the good doctor? Something's wrong? Dr. Gadbury was killed last night. What? Come here. Let's, uh, sit down. Uh, tell me all about it. What happened? There was an accident. A terrible accident. With Henry VIII. 
Henry VIII. Yeah, that's hazardous environmental robotic intelligence. It's the eighth prototype. I designed that for Martin six years ago. When I left the lab, Dr. Gadbury had deactivated Henry. When I came back, Dr. Gadbury was lying. His head... <sighs> Henry was reactivated when I came back. Dr. Gadbury's skull had been crushed. They said Henry did it out of anger. Anger? <laughs> Robots can't have emotions. You've never met Henry, Alex. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you saying that a robot deliberately murdered someone? It's not possible. You and I know that, Simon. But at noon, they're going to cut him into pieces, destroy him like a mad dog. Simon, you're his only hope. Noon? That's three hours. We've got no time to waste. Dr. McKay! <laughs> Uh, always a pleasure. Of course, I regret the circumstances. Yeah, so do I. You've come a long way since Harvard Geology Department. <laughs> I'm still pinching bennies, I'm afraid. But this is uh, Dr. Post. He discovered Dr. Gadbury's body. Please um, meet you. Dr. Post, you wrote the paper on computer-assisted satellite surveys. 1968, wasn't it? Yes. In 1968, uh, computers worked for us. Not with us. I knew that uh, Henry was a mistake, but I never realized that it would actually murder someone. I think murder is a strong word. Cadbury's skull was crushed like an eggshell. What are we calling that? Death by natural causes? I should have known the CIC would send you out here, Copeland. Oh, Jagger. Well, some of us are still on the first team. How are things in Toyland? Look, let me just tell... Alex, it's all right. Dr. Hutchison, do you really think it's wise to have Henry destroyed? Dr. McKay, you designed Henry to withstand extreme heat or cold or the pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere. You, more than anyone else, should understand how dangerous he can be. I also programmed him with Asimov's laws of robotics. He cannot harm anybody. You programmed... An imitation of human emotions, Dr. McKay. Pandora's box was easy to open, but tragically hard to close. What possible motive could Henry have had for murder? Jealousy. Jealousy? You know, Henry was always arguing with Dr. Gadbury. I think that machine thought that we humans were beneath him. You know, Martin loved an argument. He could never find anyone to argue with. That's why he treasured Henry so much. The decision has been made, Dr. McKay. <sighs> Couldn't I at least see him? I want to conclude this business as quickly as possible. The reputation of this facility is at stake. However, I think we can postpone the inevitable for a few minutes. I appreciate that more than I can say. Can I see him alone? Sure, you got five minutes. Henry? Simon, it has been three years, two months, four days. I know, it's been a long time. I'm sorry. You should not have come. Why not? I am said to have killed Dr. Gadbury. I do not wish to place you at risk. Did you kill him? My arm was bloodied. Dr. Gadbury is dead. So what happened? I do not know. Six hours of memory are missing. I calculate a 78% chance that I am responsible for his death. Logically, I should be destroyed. Just listen to you, Henry. Is that what a murderer would say? Most murderers say, quote, I want my lawyer. Would you suggest this? Henry, do you remember the very first thing I ever taught you? First law. A robot must not harm a human being, nor, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. That's right. Now, I know somebody else killed Martin. They may kill again. The only clue to who it was is in your missing memory. I 
can do nothing. Security has disconnected main power pack. I can give you access to your emergency reserves. Listen. Priority override. Vocal scan, super user, Simon McKay. Access ZZ Alpha Zero. Mongolia. Hello? What do you think? I'm not sure. The memory's just gone. Henry erased its memory to conceal guilt. What other conclusion is there? Well, you could be right, but I wouldn't like to be the one that has to make the decision. What was that? Get out of the way. Nah, it's locked. Keys. Somebody with the keys. Get Jameson. With the keys. Jameson. Jameson. Keys. Jameson, where have you been? Which one? Yeah, I knew it. McKay, you're lucky to be alive. I guess so. Yeah, don't worry, we'll find him. I hope so. Let's get out of here. Come on, run, run, go! Simon? Alex! Simon, what happened? I don't know. Henry just escaped. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. What are you up to? What do you mean? It's not... Simon! What do I feel like having? you want? Yeah, Kit Kat, that's what I want. How did that get in there? French toast. To go? Yeah, to go. French toast sticks. Now that's breakfast. Burger King, the best food for fast times. We know you're concerned about the sweeping tax changes for 1987. This year, put H&R Block on your side. Get back the biggest refund you've got coming. I could not have done it without H&R Block. What can we find for you? Give me an X! Tic, 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 tac, toes. New Tic Tac Toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Tic, 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 tac, toes. With and without meatballs. The $25,000 Pyramid is here weekdays at 4 on KBS and Channel 12. Cheer on your favorite contestants and stars as they reach for $25,000. Don't miss the fun every weekday at 4 right here on KBS and Channel 12. I'm Kate and Allie. You sold my dress for $29.95? A dress shop gives Allie the cold shoulder. Like I always say, pay retail. Come on, candid camera. Then, did Sam give 50 bucks to a hunk or a huckster? It's just a loan going to write me in check and pay me back today. Now you and Mr. Rogers to make a great couple. My sister Sam, Monday. Be awesome. Just say no. Don't let drugs screw up your life. It's expensive, illegal, and dumb. So when you're asked to join in, don't. Just say no. You're too young to die. Simon, if you're doing what I think you're doing. Crucify me later, Alex. I need to concentrate. Yeah, and I need the truth. You're guiding that robot here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Simon, I can't let you do this. I've got to do it, Alex. You don't understand. You're breaking the law. I'm only after justice. Whatever happened to common justice? Forget justice, Simon. Whatever happened to common sense? 
one, Simon, please, will you use your head instead of your heart? That thing is dangerous. Look, Alex, whatever happened to innocent until proved guilty? I refuse to see Henry executed without due process. What do you want, a jury of his peers? Look, it might be just a mess of wires to you. He's like a child to me. I still don't believe I let you talk me into this. Where are your priorities? Truth is a priority, Alex. There. Quote, even the finest arms can be an instrument of evil. Lao Tzu from Tao Te Ching. Using arm as hammer is non-optimal use of resources, Simon. Hey. Now, Alex. If you had a laser, why would you want to clap somebody to death? It's obvious someone came into the laboratory while Henry was turned off, detached the arm, killed Martin, then replaced it. The defense rests. Yeah, but Monica said that Henry was turned on when she came back. Why doesn't he remember what happened? I'm not sure. Give me some time. The CIC is looking into it, Simon. You don't need to get involved. Alex, Dr. Martin Gabry was my friend. His cybertech space system research helped make Skylab a reality. Martin asked me to design a machine that could function where no human being could survive. See, it had to be a thinking machine. No one can build an adult brain, but we created a child, a genius child, who could teach himself. Do you want me to abandon a child? No, of course not. But Simon... If something happens to you, if, if Henry hurt you, I couldn't forgive myself. Look, my life is my own, Alex. All right. But if Henry didn't kill Dr. Gadbury, I guess I better find out who... Unknown fabric. Hey! Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in polymerized matrix. Polyester. Cheap suit. <laughs> All right, I'll help find the real killer. But you disconnect that laser. Deal? Deal. Morning, Henry. May I ask what you're doing? Automating servitors. Non-optimal time and motion. Have wired entire kitchen to single circuit. Examine, please. <coughs> Simple auto circuit designed for Skylab enables entire kitchen to run itself. Fantastic, Henry. Worry, something smells good. Yeah, he's been very busy. It's nice, I guess. Uh oh. Well, it fell to earth. I know not where. Longfellow, Song of Hiawatha. That's perfect. No, no, you won't. No. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Alex, it's the men from the CIC stole them for a couple of minutes, then let them in. Simon. Henry, we can't let them find you here. Good thinking.
You know, we were combing this area, and suddenly I remembered Santa's workshop is right here. The uh, head elf around? Let's cut the clever talk and get this over with, Copeland, okay? My, my. A little touchy this morning, aren't we? Simon? Simon, uh... I thought I told you not to disturb me. I know, but... Uh... I don't expect you to understand. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry to disturb your work. <laughs> I'm sure it's real important. We're still looking for the robot. You haven't seen it, have you? Oh, this is cute. I want my mommy. It's for you. All right. I'll talk to you later, McKay. If you must. Jagger, I'm heading back to Cybertech. I'll join you. If you must. Come out now, Henry. Oh. Come on, Henry. We've got to find your missing memory. Try yours. Henry, I've been through your entire memory map. I can't even find a trace. It's like coming up against a wall. I can't even make a hole in it. Sure. Was you good when you played? Uh, not bad. Every player in the world. Serious? Fourteen of them. <laughs> hey, I like these sneakers. Stadia, huh? Yeah, they're from Kitty. They never had these when I was a kid. They did, Ed. Then how'd you get so good? I wish I knew. See you now. why we stand behind every Whirlpool appliance with our 24-hour cool line telephone service to help with problems or questions and our national network of authorized tech care service outlets. Whirlpool. Quality appliances. place to learn the value of a dollar. Right, boys? Mrs. Salmich. What is this? The seafood platter. And these? Fish, shrimp, clams. Excellent. And the seafood platter's price? Three ninety-nine. Right. And that is? Value. Can we eat now? Long John Silver. May we eat now? Sounds good to me. The wizard will continue. Saturday on CBS. This kid came in here intact. Let's keep him intact. They're children. They don't belong here. I want to help. John Ritter, Betty Thomas, Prison for Children. This is CBS. Easter's almost here. It's nice to know Burlington Coat Factory has the clothes girls need, like pretty spring dresses, lots of styles, priced one half less than at other fine stores. Easter's almost here, and Burlington Coat Factory has the clothes boys need, like this top-quality American-made suit he can wear year-round, and you can buy at a remarkably low Burlington price, just $34.75. Easter's almost here. The time to get to Burlington Coat Factory is now. Winter's on the way out, and that means it's time for the Hutchinson Spring Expo, March 13th, 14th, and 15th. Visit the Channel 12 booth and meet members of the Eyewitness News team and give them a chance to get to know you. Also, there'll be florists, greenhouses and landscapers, interior decorators, home builders and remodelers, and swimming pool contractors, all with ideas for your home and your dream home. Even your RV dream home for the road. And don't forget the Channel 12 booth. We'll look forward to seeing you at the Hutchinson Spring Expo, March 13th, 14th, and 15th. 
Roger Cornish leading the way. Henry, what are you doing with that laser, Henry? Turn it off. Was I in error? What do you mean? You said that you wish to make a hole in the wall. Is the hole too small? I can... Henry, I was speaking figuratively. Please, no more holes in walls, Henry. Figurative. I do not understand. Henry, I taught you to understand nuance. What did they do to you at Cybertech? I mean, life isn't black and white. There's grey, there's... Grey. Adjective. Of a colour between white and black. Quote. Dark. Dis In our science and philosophy, there is commonly no true and absolute account of things. Thoreau. From life without principle. I taught you literature for a reason. I taught you Thoreau so you could understand philosophy and ethics and uh, Longfellow so you could feel the rhythm of human emotions. Emotions are non-optimal. Henry? What did you do when they told you you'd killed Dr. Gadbury? How did you feel? I thought... No, not thought. How did you feel? Take this. I cannot trust myself. I am malfunctioning. Must return to Cybertech. Uh, wait, Henry. How would you feel if you hurt me? I... Good. Now we're getting somewhere. Young man, Professor Gadbury may have died, but the rest of us must continue. So I take it his death caused you no personal grief, Dr. Post? In my life, I have lost many colleagues. And I'm told that I, well, if I don't slow down, I may very soon follow them. But I cannot slow down. There is too much to be done and too little time time, which this conversation, by the way, is wasting. If I could just bother you for one more question. You took over Dr. Gadbury's stress lab, right? Would you say that that represents a promotion? It represents exhaustion, young man. You are irritating me. I've told CIC everything I know. Holly, would you mind? Yes, sir. On three, I'll take it up to 2,400 millibars in by 50s to 88. All right, Dillard, get ready for the next test. Dillard. All right. All right already. Post doesn't know from computers. Dr. Gadbury eats the two mainframes and spit microbes. Excuse me, what'd you say? Post is an old man. He doesn't know from computers. You like working here in the stress chamber? Oh, yeah, it's a lot more fun than staring at post maps. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, why'd Gadbury kick you off this project? Dr. Post is right. I don't have time to talk to you. All right. We'll talk later. Count on it. Henry, we're not getting anywhere. I am sorry, Simon. It's not your fault. Just take a break, all right? Break? Oh, uh, power down. No, no, not a power down break. Uh, a break. We're going to have fun. Fun. Now, enjoyment, amusement, playful action. No, no, I don't mean that. It's, uh, it's none of that. Well, it is that. Uh, well, come over here. The best thing I can do is to show you.
with fun. Fun. Henry. Henry. Break's over, Henry. No more fun? We'll have fun later. Right now, we've got to get into Cybertech's computers, see if we might have had a motive to kill Martin, all right? Hmm. your show. Cybertech ciphers are based upon alphanumeric progressions of name, of day, of week. I will try them all. Well, how long do we have before we trigger their security alarm? 20 seconds. with your numbers. I'm sorry. It's the secretary, Mr. Fault. I told you so before. Send for maintenance. No, no, no. Just but give me another minute here, please. Dr. Fost, I think this yes. may be the problem. No, 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 no. I'd better do the thing the old-fashioned way, I suppose. Um, up there, will you observe this experiment and report to me we're going to do it visually? Excuse me, uh, Dr. Post. Uh, I take it there's some reason for this interruption. I'm afraid there is. May we uh, speak to you privately? Uh, Dillard and Holly, go on, I'll handle this. And uh, you people up there, take a break for 15 minutes. 15. Now, what is this gravely urgent matter? Well, we were hoping that you might be able to help us with a little problem. I found some notes that Dr. Gadbury made involving departmental billing. Uh, yes, and? And you billed $1,400 to the Arplex Corporation last year. Well, we subcontract a great deal of our work. Monica should know that. And we can't do everything ourselves. Dr. Post, the Arplex data systems went out of business a month before these accounts were closed. Then there is a misprint on the file. Do you think this is some sort of a game, Doctor? It's a murder investigation, and sooner or later... Mr. Jagger! Yes. Dr. Gadbury did accuse Dr. Post of overbilling. The problem has been resolved and does not concern you. But under what the circumstances... What should concern you is a killer machine loose in our city while you waste time here. Miss Stewart, you and I will speak later. All right. What was all that about? Oh, I don't like the way your people are conducting this investigation. Case in point, Mr. Jagger seems totally unconcerned about that robot. I wonder why. Copeland here. I want two radio cars out front in 30 seconds. We're shadowing Jagger. Be ready to work him in relays. And careful, no mistakes this time, huh? I got a hunch. This is incorrect. What? This map is incorrect. It is not the map I remember from a week ago. Well, it's a satellite aerial map taken at an altitude of... 800 kilometers. 822. The matic map of Alaska taken by French satellite. Why would Cybertech analyze a French map? Department of Defense requested analysis of European satellite technology. Can you give me a copy of the map you do remember? Certainly, Simon. It is now downloaded. Displaying area of discrepancy on two screens. There is a difference, but I 
can't say what. Simon! Alex, did you find anything? Simon, you were right. There is dirt at CyberTech. Now I believe you. Then you're ready to see this. The murderer killed Martin, wiped Henry's memory, then pushed the button again. And had plenty of time to leave before Henry's sensors were fully active. Good work. You stay here. Stay here. All right, Jagger. You're going to tell us where it is? We have to rip these walls apart. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that stupid robot. Look, I really don't think you've got any right to come barging in on... Simon, I have... Henry! Uh-oh. Get him, now! Simon, Simon, help me! Wait, you don't understand. We're close to a break. Oh, Simon! The whole do it, Jagger. I'll bust you for obstruction of justice. Come on, let's get that thing out of here. But, hey, you should have known better. And, Jagger, Internal Affairs is going to have you for breakfast. You'll only make things worse. How could they be worse? How could it possibly be worse? The fiber in Kellogg's Mini Wheats helps keep me flying right, but it's the delicious frosting that fuels my youthful appetite. A uh, small problem. The shred of wheat nutrition gives me that drive, but the kid in me loves to tackle the tasty side. Kellogg's Mini Wheats, shredded wheat nutrition for the adult in you, delicious taste for that part of you that'll never grow up. The fiber in Mini Wheats gives me a great start. When it comes to the great taste, I'm just a kid at heart. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Start spreading the news. Heard the news? Ounce for ounce, Philadelphia brand cream cheese has just half the calories of butter or margarine. So... Start spreading the news. Rich, creamy, Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Since 1880, half the calories of butter or margarine. Start spreading the news. Ooh, something new. Caramel layered through pecans and almonds too. to the entire thing is right here. I'm listening, Simon. Where? Alex, this is a segment of a geological disconformity. You mean it's a fake? Well, you could say that. Uh, look at the original. Infrared and deep radar show a signature of pitch blend. That's uranium ore. Now, somebody at Cybertech is killing to protect this secret. They're falsifying government information. We've got to get Henry out of there. Split up, Alex. If you see him, signal me on this. Okay, you got it. Simon, I hope you're right about this. When have I ever let you down? Thank <laughs> you. 
a great deal of trouble upon yourself, Dr. McKay. I hope it was worth it. I'd just like to see him one more time to say a final farewell. Hmm. Why not? After all, in a sense, Henry is your child, isn't he? More well, like a brain child. I wonder if your actions weren't motivated by guilt. Did one of your creations, a machine meant to save lives, murder a man? And that's not an easy question to dismiss. You brought Henry back here. Isn't security a bit weak? <laughs> On the contrary, Dr. McKay, we have everything we need right here. All along, I thought it was post. Oh, I'm afraid not. As a geologist, you knew about the uranium deposits. As a geophysicist. For eight years, I played nursemaid to a clutch of spoiled children and senile idiots. I'm the only one that saw the implication in those photos. Millions of dollars of uranium on land that will be auctioned for a pittance. Chance of a lifetime. So what went wrong? Well, you know by now that Henry discovered Post's financial indiscretions. Two days ago, that mechanical idiot blundered into my own data files. He told Dr. Gadbury Gadbury had to die, and the robot's memory with him. So what now? A little accident? This chamber can generate a pressure of 75 atmospheres. More than enough to reduce you to an incurious jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. McKay. directly to me. What are they doing to you there? Running a worm program, simultaneously copying and removing data. Soon, I will be empty. Get your signal, Simon. I'll be here in a minute. That will be good. It will be good to see him. It is good to see you, Alex, although you do not like me. Henry, it's not that I don't like you, it's just... What am I doing talking to a machine? Come on, Simon. Not working. 
working. What do you mean, do something? Come on! Of course it won't open. Someone took the manual override. He's just dead in a slide rule factory. He'll look like a raspberry donut. He'll... Dillard, shut up. Alex, I may be able to overload the computer and gain direct access to the safety lines. Dillard, please hardwire me to the console. Uh -uh. Do what he says, Dillard. Now, come on! I'm gonna come back to post about this. Alex, stand back. going down. Get the door open, Henry. Oh, no, you're killing with bends. We must lower the pressure slowly. Simon, I'm glad you're safe. Alex, his battery cells are drained. He's losing his memory core. He's dying, Alex. Get me out of here. No, Simon. I cannot allow you to hurt yourself. Dr. Post, look in my bag. Get the compact disc device. Plug it into his communication port. It's here. Simon. Henry, hold on. Simon? Yes, Henry. Simon, was I ever truly alive. You're here, Henry. You exist. It is illogical, but I am afraid. I do not want to die, Simon. There are so many reasons to live. Dr. Post, what's going on? I'm doing the best I can. Simon, you were my creator. You made me. You taught me. I ask a favor of you. Yes, Henry. Tell me one thing. Anything. Have I been a good son? <laughs> the best I could ever have hoped for, Henry. Thank you. Sorry. You've got to get out of here. This thing's going to go. Instant breakfast. You're gonna love it in an instant. You're gonna love it in an instant. So good and frosty, rich and tasty. Carnation Instant Breakfast. You're gonna love it in an instant. Carnation Instant Breakfast comes in four delicious flavors. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate malt. It's one nutritious breakfast you're gonna love. Carnation Instant Breakfast. In regular and no sugar added. You're gonna love it in an instant. Oh, wow, does that pizza smell good? My nose wouldn't know it's too stuffed. Have a Halls. Halls Vapor Action penetrates deep to help your stuffy nose feel clearer while Halls soothes your cough. Halls Vapor Action works. Now let's work on some pizza. Skin is stickless, fat with flavor. See how skinny, taste how fat. Sticklet gum gives you nine slim sticks instead of seven wide ones in a regular pack. See how skinny, taste how fat. Morris, come through your new door and taste a new dinner. It's a trap. It's new hearty ground. 
Hearty Har Har. See? New Hearty Ground Dinner from Nine Lives. Nine Lives? Morris, are you out there? Not anymore. <laughs> Introducing new Hearty Ground Dinners from Nine Lives. Hearty turkey, beef, and meaty meal. They're heartier than ordinary ground. More texture, more temptation. Nine Lives, I'd walk through walls for new Hearty Ground. Sunday, it's no laughing matter when a covey of comedians leads to murder. Good Lord. Buddy Hackett, Artie Johnson, Steve Lawrence on Murder, She Wrote. Then, live, it's the 13th Annual People's Choice Awards. America picks their favorite winners. Find out who they are with over 50 stars and host Dick Van Dyke. They've got showbiz in their blood, stardom in their dreams, sticky floors to sweep, and sometimes the best show is in the lobby. The Popcorn Kid, coming soon to CBS. Simon, come on, you can't do this to yourself. Look, Simon, if you won't come up, at least let me bring some food down to you, okay? Simon! Uh, look, I made some nice spaghetti for you. Simon! Simon? This is not a meal. This is a cold mass of coagulated carbohydrates containing suboptimal amounts of all major nutrients. Yeah, unless Mr. Jagger considers grease to be a nutrient. Henry? He's lost a lot of data, but I've captured his personality core on a compact disc. I just had to construct a body. There is much I do not understand, much I have never seen. I will stay with you. You will? Why? First law, a robot may not harm, or through inaction, allow to be harmed a human being. And? Your cooking is a hazard to human life. I will cook, will clean, travel with you. Bonjour, muchas gracias, arigato gozaiman. You will show me play and we will have... What did you call it, Simon? Uh, fun, Henry, fun. Yes, fun. Next on The Wizard. The child evolves as a wolf. I'll pay whatever it takes. But that girl cannot be allowed to live. She's got the intelligence of a human and the, the instincts of a wolf. Alex, we've got to find her before they do. And before whoever tries to kill her does. You got me after a wild animal. I'm a hitman, not a hunter. She has to die. This is the way people talk. Somehow, you understand. Up next, amnesia, drugs, and murder reunite AJ with his ex-fiancee. A deadly case of international intrigue awaits Simon and Simon next. <laughs>